ignorant thrall. shall return. My genius will be understood, eventually.
ගජයාලුව දෙන්නෙක් සයිමන් සහ මාටි ඒ දෙන්න වෙනස් උනේ කොණ්ඩෙ පාටි කොලෙජ් එකේ වුණත් කොල්ල කවදත් ඉහලි දුකයි 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 පව් අපේ සයිමන් මාටින් ලස්සන බිරිඳක් කෙනෙකුට කැන්දන් හරි අවුලෙන් හිටියේ පව් අනේ අපේ සයිමන් දවසක් කූල් රෙඩ් බුල් කෑන් එක බිව සයිමන් අලුත් උනේ අනේ අපේ සයිමන් ගේ සෙල්ලම් හීනෙන් වත් මෙහෙම වැඩක් නොහිතපු සයිමන් අනේ අපොයි වෙච්ච දෙයක් පව් අපේ මාටින් පව් අහිංසකයා දාගෙන දුවනවා මේ බොමුද රෙඩ් බුල් එක කෑ Red Bull gives you wings. Ah, Tomio. Ah. Gino. Hmm? Mona do me karanne. Moya nan Tomio. Red Bull gives you wings. Spawn. 
Minions have spawned.
team's turret has been destroyed. गजयालु दिन एक साइमन साह माटी ये दिन ना वेना सुने कोंडे पाटी कॉलेज जिके उनक खोला कावर दत्ती हली दुकाई 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 पाव अपे साइमन माटीन लसन बीरिंदा किना कोटे कैंडा हरी आउलिंग हिटिये पाव अने अपे साइमन दावसा कूल रेड बुल कैंड निका बिवा साइमन अलु तूने अने अपे साइमन के सेल लां ही नेग मत मे� पावा हिंसा क्या दाग ही ना दूंगा ना वाह मैं बमुदा रेड बुल लेका क्या बाय रेड बुल गिव्स यू विंग्स आ तुम्हीं आ गिनो हम्म मुनाद में करों ने मुझे आना तुम्हीं रेड बुल गिव्स यू विंग्स
ගජයාලුව දෙන්නෙක් සයිමන් සහ මාටි ඒ දෙන්න වෙනස් උනේ කොණ්ඩේ පාටි කොලෙජ් එකේ උනත් කොල්ල කවර්දත් ඉහලි දුකයි 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 පව් අපේ සයිමන් මාටින් ලස්සන බිරිඳක් කෙනෙකුට කැන්දක් හරි අවුලෙන් හිටිය පව් අනේ අපේ සයිමන් දවසක් කූල් රෙඩ් බුල් කෑන් එක බිව සයිමන් අලුත් උනේ අනේ අපේ සයිමන් ගේ සෙල්ලම් හීනෙන් වත් නෑ
Ignorant throw. Doubt is the greatest enemy. Hello, Gulamek, to win the Mercantile Esports Championship 2020 Taranga with the League of Legends Grand Final. Let's take it. It will make the top three Taranga. ग्लोबल सिस्टम सोल्यूशन सह बी एस एन लंका कंपनी पलवी तरंगे जग्रहण लगाकर Hello Faxi uh, thank you for the introduction and uh, we have a really good finals going on right now we have global system solution going up against PSN uh, PSN Lanka PSN Lanka was able to win the first uh, round of this uh, best of 3 series and uh, uh, looking at the picks and bans we can see that uh, PSN Lanka has gone for Lux Dan and Nocturne and also the uh, global system solutions has gone for a Mordekaiser Master E and Um, also have bad i think uh, both the teams wanted to uh, take out uh, the comfort picks from each other and uh, looking at the forms right now so the psl lanka have gone for leona kai sensor john which, which is a very cc heavy tank heavy comp and they want to put the kai sensor in a really good position where she can carry the game either by herself and looking at the psl uh, psl lanka that was the the draft and global system solution has gone for vega darius and nautilus vega is really really good at Life scaling and we also see yeah. darius and nautilus are really really good at snowballing the lead and you know making the, the roams and uh, securing the early objectives and we also see an elive bot stand coming in Eventually. from global system solutions and ps and lanka replies with the jin ban so they want to make sure that uh, the ad carries there are limited options for uh limited options of ad carries for uh, global system solutions and uh, we see top bands uh from global system oh. solutions which is uh 
it will be weird and we finally see that Amu Ben Amu is a very very uh, a very common and a very famous pick uh, in the country pretty much everyone loves playing it so much easy and it's actually really good in the meta as well uh, not as OP as it used to be before the uh, the sun pack game changes but still it's a really good pick and we see a trundle pick probably trundle is being picked for jungle guy xd as we all know is a very uh, famous jungle in the country who, can all, who is a top tier at best and uh, and we see a silas pick most probably will be going in the mid uh talking about silas as we all know he can his ultimate is stealing the opponent's ultimate so we have vega darius Nautilus, and Frater. uh not the best but not the worst at the same time so he he should be able to get like something like Nautilus or vega and do some damage with the with those alls and uh, the ergot been picked for PSN and lanka and gg uh, gss rounds up their comp with the ash as we all know, Percy is a notorious Ash player. He's he, he is a really really good uh, AD carry as well. So very excited to see how this game two will span out to be. And uh, we have the 30 thing two and a half minutes of loading time. So I'm just gonna uh, go over the champions select once again. So we saw coming into the champions here. We saw Pearson Lanka went with the Lux Diana and nocturne ban uh, specifically to ban out the other team's uh, most comfort picks and also uh, gss global system solutions went with the malphite Eloy, and the malza bands and coming into the first rotation they were able to secure sejuani and leona as well as kaisa kaisa leona is a really, really good button they have so much synergy and they can burst people most of the time and uh, GSS wanted to go with the Vega, Darius, and Nautilus. They wanted a hyperscaling champion in the mid lane, and also they wanted a really good support who can match with Leona, and also the Darius, the snowball top laner. And uh, going into the second champion bands, they, the PS and Lanka went with the Jin and Amomo band, whereas Global System Solutions went with the Master E and the Mordekaiser band. Uh, again, they wanted to just take out the, the. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, they just wanted to take out the, the comfort picks uh, from each other team. And uh, finally, they were uh, the PSN Langa was able to pick Silas and uh, got to round up their comp. Whereas Global System Solutions picked Trundle and Ash. So looking at the overall composition, I feel like uh, it's really hard to decide. Who, it's basically both teams have two amazing comps, uh, especially P uh, talking about the uh, global system solutions comp. They have ton of CC with Ash Arrow and uh, Vega Box uh, with the Nautilus, who is a monster at CC, and also Triangle with the Pillar. And they do also have really, really good amount of damage. And also talking about the Pearson Lanka uh, overall comp, they have Leona, who is really good at engaging and, you know, locking down targets and kaisa who can follow up with anything that the team is throwing and you know burst any target that she wants and also we have sejuani a really again a really good cc heavy tank heavy jungler and then silas and ergot who are really skilled at fighting uh you know on the front end so both the teams have two amazing comps so it's really hard for us uh, sp uh personally for me to decide like which which comp is better is both amazing so we really have to go into the uh, game and see how these two teams execute the the game plan and you know get those early dragons barons and how they set up their objectives and how they play the skirmishes and execute their comps better so we do have 30 seconds uh, spectator delay and once we get once the game starts we can see how the two teams have opted for the the keystone masteries, the summoner spells, and a, a glimpse of the game plan, that is. Ash, what do you think about the new update, league update? Uh, with the new league update, I would say, like, uh, especially 
healing uh, I, i would say the healing is broken right now pretty much every champion heals for almost 40% 50% damage they do so i would say whatever the team uh, i think they have to prioritize healing reduction is just like a very very important part in league right now Okay so we are loading in this game just to remind you this is the game 2 of the best of 3 series the first game was won by PSN so if the if PSN Lanka was able to win this game they will be taking the championship home and so talking about the keystone match so Leon has opted for uh, the aftershock as you should uh, as the norm and the kaiser has gone for hail of blades a very aggressive keystone sejuani again aftershock which is going to now match his conquer and uh, god press the attack. So uh, basically the carries wanted to pick very aggressive summon spells into the other. I would prefer Silas going for fleet footwork instead of conquer because it, it might get it might get a little bit difficult survive in this vega lane, but uh, I think he has he has the capabilities to go up against uh the vega and pick conquerors. And also talking about the global system solutions uh Kisom Master is the vega has gone for electric gear. That's not what you see every day. I feel like he's also very confident on his pick, and uh, the Darius has gone for Grasp, and Nautilus has gone for Aftershock, Conqueror for the Trundle, and Con- uh, I mean, sorry, Prestige Attack for Con- uh, Trundle and the Prestige Attack for Ash. So all very aggressive, uh, overall ag- very aggressive Kirsten uh, set up for both the teams, and uh, two teams, uh, two teams, TPs are run by. PS and Lanka and two TVs are run by the Global System Solutions as well. So it's overall both teams have opted for two TVs and also very aggressive keystones on their carry specifically. So I feel like the early game will uh, they might want to you know play very aggressive both the teams and they will be uh, <laughs> playing for the scuttles. They will be contesting for the scuttles a lot and uh, I think. when uh contesting for the scuttle has been a very big part in the early game and if sal is able to push i feel like pierce and langa would have an upper hand there but it again comes down to the uh, execution and we can see right now the both teams they war in the river they both want to war as much as possible in this early game because i feel like both the teams have understood that early game will play a very big part of the role and okay that is we can explore it so anyway as i was saying the both teams start south in the bot side of the map so johnny will be taking her red and hunter will be going with his blue and uh all right so talking about the match up the bottom match up guys have also leona against ash was and uh 100 i mean sorry uh not less so both teams are really good at fighting and but i feel like once you hit level 6 guys are just able to uh burst down as that is provided that she doesn't get hit by the arrow and uh, the mid lane match up it's uh, i'm not quite sure how it will go because the uh, vega is running electric here so if Vega can poke down uh, Silas. Vega would definitely have the upper hand, but unless other than that, I feel like uh, Silas would have the upper hand if if he doesn't get poked and if he get a good get good trades early on. Oh, while you're talking, a really good trade in top lane. Ergot was able. To, oh, a miss flash coming out from Darius. That's very unfortunate, but Ergot is does not want to. Follow. He won the trade. He won the summoner spell battle already. He wants to take it through and push away. But I'm leaving the top. He needs to be. He needs to be looking out for that. See, Tanley is moving to the top side of the map already, and uh, he is spotted. Anyways. All right, he backs out, and uh, Elgar is ruling this top side of the map. I think so. Sejuani should have all the freedom to take this battle uh, by herself, and if she wants, she can just go go bot. And uh, the bot battle as well 
Invite after but bot very aggressive trades uh, being picked up and a mid lane gang comes in and Silas takes cover shots yeah so as I was saying both team wants to be aggressive but uh, I think this and Lanka comes in on a head on his early game and sometimes was able to pick up both the stars because of that run they're still looking to gang this Urgot and make sure that Darius is able to snowball a good flash comes out from Urgot is able to dodge and get back to safety so like I was saying one of the biggest priority okay finally not to gank again but I don't think it's gonna hurt this time oh Urgot does want to I can't and gets the load but uh, the position solution doesn't want to follow up on that so as I was saying the position solution wants to put this Darius in a favorable position because that is like one of the main uh, one of the main pitch conditions making sure the Darius snowballs because that is like a which not where he either snowballs he feels miserable in pain and then he becomes useless for the entirety of the game so they want to make sure that that is a really good position to uh, be that side lens that uh, he usually is. So both the team is not opting to go on the dragon. Uh, they want to make it easier to go on the dragon count. Right. Passive farming stick. But I feel like uh, the when the game goes global system solution will have a little bit of advantage because, mainly because of the Vega the uh, Vega cage and the amount of work that we are making and he scales insanely into late game so and since uh, team PSN Blanca doesn't have an attachment it will be a very tough job for the Urgot and even Silas to uh, get back to that line and Kill off quick. All right, and uh, just to make sure I'm on the same. Uh... As you saw, both the teams want to play very aggressive. We saw a couple of uh, ganks from front on the mid lane as well. And Ash is scouting with her arrow really well. I think uh, the ganks is going to the red. So Trundle again wants to gank this top. But I think the ult just gets hit and oh god, just the barrier before Trundle joins. But Trundle wants to take this revenge. He's going off the Urgot but doesn't have a flashes in for the auto attack and with the chomp I think Urgot should go down but oh no not enough win. that is very unfortunate for the uh, team the solutions there Urgot was able to kill Dantless and escape uh, very big uh, win for him. So I can see that Sejuani was able to get a third scuttle bit. Huge lead for Sejuani here, uh, as you can see. And I think it's better if they can go to the dragon. I don't think they're preparing enough to make that play right now, given how the buck is right now. So, talking about the items, uh, we can see that Vega has uh, already got the last starter. And Silas has gone for the time. Oh god, can't think very aggressive. That is so much damage coming from this. And, and not to talk about the CS difference between the top 45 and 18. This uh, got the position. So how this top lane coming into him. Darius to be the one to small part uh, with the, for example, I guess, I can't 
has a lead of one and a CS lead of one. And the CS boy is 73 to 40. We got the CS pop and definitely big. Like I said, That to late game of his and in the bottom is pretty much uh, the same sort of right? and we can see there how uh, the drifts have to pick up the fight the god does have art the silence but and of it want to give the uh, so this is the solution so the object skills up and that's a bit of collapse and Ahead of that fight. Very, very I am a goal leader in the Global System Solution. I am a team member. I am a team member. I am a team member. I am a Yeah, Foxy, like you're saying, Global System Solution has a very small goal lead, but we can see uh, Sejuani was there, but she was not able to engage uh, on that. Very unfortunate for Team PS and Lanka. As we can see, that. Uh, Global System Solution is taking over the map, the, the Vega is roaming, which says a lot, and then Trundle is making the, uh, making sure making sure that uh, all the lanes are doing well except for the top lane. Uh, I feel like once the, if the top lane is sorted out for 
team global system solution they would be in a really really good spot to win this game like i was saying uh the wig will definitely be a annoying for nice team here's on lanka to deal with from this mid to late game because there's so much damage and has a lot of oh we see sir johnny going does miss his ult but i feel like yes the vega flashes from the wall so there's no follow up on that sir johnny does miss the ult on the vega there very unfortunate but uh, the mid lane does goes down uh from team ps and nanka so overall i feel like the global system solution is coming ahead in all pretty much everywhere uh, in the map except the top lane but i think I, that can be dealt man once they hit like two or three item power spike i don't think it really matter anyways uh, the dragon is going to be up in a little while and i feel like both the teams will be looking out for that the first dragon was able to secure by team ps and lanka that there is a mountain dragon and this will be the cloud dragon so the soul will be either ocean or inferno and both the both those two dragons are very very op and i uh, feel like the, the both teams will be contesting a lot for the dragon from here on out and we see a lot of things coming out from both the teams to this dragon there is is being played right now because he has the teleport uh, but uh, gus has already joined he wants to make sure they win this team fight because they don't want to lose this, the next team fight uh, and team global system solution is doesn't want to touch but they are hovering around all right so peace and lanka is able to, was able to uh, secure the second dragon as well and in it's an inferno a really good good soul if peace and lanka is able to get the next two dragons so uh, talking about the items again vega has completed the mythic item the ludens and there is his novia near complete his very behind the game ash has already completed the kraken slayer uh and uh, skies has completed the crack her kraken slayer as well and uh, god has completed the gold ringer and so that's it about the mythic items both the teams have completed two mythic items each and again team Uh, global system solution are going after the risk cartel so i feel like the map has been split into two and uh, global system solutions is picking up the objectives in the top side whereas uh, tmps and lanka is picking up the objectives in the boss side not what you would see when agot is very ahead but still that's the case here right now So talking about the gold ring is a very very open mythic item right now with couple of uh, healing items I think he could easily take over the game if he wants to because healing is really really overpowered in this patch like I was telling so we would be looking out for that as well and uh, global system solution all the players are hovering over boss side they want to break this boss side turret I think Oh god does have to be the boss to join I think that would be the best thing for Oh not the flashes and was able to look the uh, ice of flashes yes the ash yes the arrow and big all the kill silent the pp comes from the oh god here we go uh, the big boss down like a deception very big and I think the Nautilus will go down as well here and the Soviet Leona So overall I feel like that was a really really good team fight for PS and Lanka. I don't think cover diving was the best thing a uh, global system solution could have done there. Of course uh, the DP from uh, got changed a lot as well. I think they can take the can Ash has been what back and uh that is just slowly farming the top side and you know getting back into the game. Anyway that was a really good fight for uh PS and Lanka just you know put them on the score but back and was able to get that big shot down as well uh Agot is hovering over the side but being spotted by the Ash Silas is here to pick up the farm and a good rotation from Silas as well coming in there uh, actually I have uh, there was a really good flash ties up the game started making sure she gets out from the Vega cage 
because I feel like everybody wanted to make sure that Kaiser dies, but was unable to. But uh, Silas goes down instead, and uh, the fight changes. And I got TPs, but overall, I diving the turret would be the best choice for the uh, global system solutions. Anyway, talking for the goal lead, global system solutions still holds the goal lead for 1.5k right now. So again, the mythic items. The hunter has completed his three force and yeah, and that's just about it. Uh, I feel like Sajjani will be completing hers very soon as well. So Vega has gone for that uh, sorcerer shoes and Oblivion Orb as a very smart, uh, uh, very smart. Itemization overall, and we have a pause coming in. Uh, Foxy, so far, the way the game has played out, who do you think will come out ahead in the next fight? Uh... Hari ini mesti ada yang nama orang yang kita nak. Mungkin ada debat tu mungkin nanti lagi nanti orang godak liga. Hello. Hello. Ah, debat tu mungkin nanti lagi nanti orang godak liga flagon godak kali nampai play kerana khatiya thamai. Pearson Lanka pat gatot. Egal lagi top play nanti godak kelawat itu. Got Morda Kaiser Darius main kerja dengan ikannya. Itu kot Rusiru Black kian net honda race kian net ha. Mehamom got Chikuba Cylon. Mehamom got kali na League of Legend game kita play kerana kat dia. I think first match kita balu, tapi dia balang kan puluang una. Egalang got honda hitte puna tivi dia ter. Honda ikman ada Baron fight dia kerana force kerela. Api dia Match kali ini kita akan lihat lagi. Ikan godak pun try kere. Mening game kali ini kita akan lihat pulang godak objective target target ni target kita akan play kera. Ting make it malamu mata hewa kian nama. Ini macam tu. G S S pada kat tu tema. Fight kat tu. Oh fuck sih kan. G S S pada kat tu take it kafil kian kafil persi. Ikan ni enzo kian ni thonda. League of Legends players lah, evak yang mereka feel kian ni, hodo pot player kene, Valorant player player kene, multi talented player kene. I think apa malam tu, hati main ni kian. Okay, both the teams has really need players, but guys are lost. Okay, so I'm not sure that was the best idea for Sejuan if you do because the dragon was already out when she jumped in, but. Like I said, the biggest issue that uh, Yes and Naka will be facing is this Vega. This Vega is gonna be a really hard to deal with, especially because of the cage. Like we saw, the cage into Ash Alt was a really powerful combo. The Kaiser was CC for at least four or five seconds there, and they were able to burst down her during that time. And I think without a god, I don't think. Uh, Yes and Naka can make any team fight happen either. So, really tough. Uh, Tough gameplay for Pierce and Lanka coming out, and the goal lead is extended right now. I think the goal lead is almost around 3k in favor of Global System Solutions. So, the dragon was uh, secured by Global System Solutions, the first infernal dragon. So, I feel like it will be a long way for the, uh, the for the soul for both the teams. Anyways, uh, both the teams are. Securing visions, make sure that uh, they don't get caught by any of these ash arrows or uh, Vega Pages team Pierce and Lanka is uh, grouping up in the mid lane to get this mid charge. There's a TP coming up from Vega, not the best idea. They can just dive the Vega here, but they don't want to go for that. Uh, they don't want to go with the because of the cage. Vega cage, uh, but they are able to get the turret right there and the uh, team. Global System Solution was able to secure the bot uh, turret as well. So this still the turret turret count is two to three in favor of uh, Team Global System Solutions. 
So all the outer terrace of uh, Team PSN Lang has been fallen down, but uh, the bot tower of Team Global System Solution is still there. So that's why the disparity is there. And uh, talking about again the mythic items, Joan has completed her mythic, the Sunfire AGs, and still the Silas haven't completed the mythic. Uh, his mythic. It's been 23 minutes into the game, so he's definitely very behind. And uh, it will be a very hard game for him because he has to play, uh, he needs to go in to make a play but he's just gonna get melted down uh, because I think he's uh, under leveled as well compared to Vega. I uh, feel like both the teams will be just uh, farming whatever they can until the next dragon fight. That's how mostly the team, uh, the gameplay will be after the next uh, So both the teams will try to board and farm as much as they can until the next dragon. And once the next dragon starts, then we will see a very very eccentric uh, team fight. So Silas has opted for this. Uh, top side of the map he wants to make sure that he gets some farm in this side lane and uh, team global system solution bot lane is very pushed aggressively and uh, it's uh, not being contested by PSN Lanka but they are moving here right now and it's really hard to make a play on uh, either of the team because the, they both have really good position control overall so before the enemy like the other team makes any any movement the the team would know so i said both are hovering in the map i'm not sure okay so the dragon i think there's still like one and a half minutes one and a half to two minutes one one and a half minutes for the dragon so it's still a long way, but once the dragon is up both, definitely the both teams will be going at it and i feel like a god will be joining this fight uh, as long as team uh, Jason Lanka doesn't get caught, like none of the players gets caught, like last time Kaiser got caught, uh, I think they will be able to put up a really good fight. And uh, if Vega goes, if Vega goes down from Global System Solution, Global System Solution will have a very hard time uh, playing the coming out uh, on ahead on this team fight. So they have to make sure that Vega lives on and is uh, there to dish out that damage. So, Dragon is still, I think, 45 seconds away. Both the teams are positioning themselves around the Dragon. They want to ward. Oh, the Dragon is up. Alright. And that's a really good uh, event for Ryzen coming up from Vega. Was able to chunk Leona for half the damage. So. This Lanka has started the dragon. That's the reason it starts from the first one. The Vega will go down. The Vega does go down. Kaiser gets the double kill, but Urgot goes down. And I feel like he. Oh, Darius. Okay, Darius dies for the second. Not sure how that can have a lot of things that So. It was a, definitely a 4v5, uh, but that was a really good alt from Sejuani onto the Vega and a really good follow up by Kaiser as and well to shut Vega down. Like I said, the Vega will be the carry in these fights, so once you take Vega down, Global System Solutions can't, do re can't much uh, do at all. But they want to go for this Baron? No, okay. Alright, uh, they are not going for the Dragon, but they are at the Soul Point. One more Dragon and that will be the Soul for Team PS and Lanka and that will be a very huge boost in that confidence and with the AP and AD so they will be definitely looking out for that and I feel like Haisa is very big with 5, 2 and 200 farm she'll be able to get her second item as well on this back so I feel like the combo here is Sejuani ult into the Kaisa. Uh, Kai's alting the Vega and making sure she dies or even Leona can do the same thing and uh, you know go on, on go on this uh, Vega 
So I feel like Wagen needs to play a little bit careful from the next team fight because definitely uh, Team PSL will might have marked him. You see, Vega is going on on this Darius but was not able to get the E. That nice pull comes out, oh, but both of them back down. Uh, and also, I feel like Darius should be joining the team fight even though he's 3 0 0 3. And Yona does get caught. He's to flash. And uh, he gets caught for the event horizon as well. And goes down for that big ultimate from Vega. The damage is insane. And instantaneously they start to Baron. Uh, and the Darius team is a really good. Uh, it's a really good strong team. Local uh, system solution. They will be able to pick up the Baron. So. Yeah. And uh, like we saw that damage from Vega is just insane. Like I think he's going for the death cap. Once he goes for death cap, I mean I think he can just Q and uh, Alt Kaiser as well if he wants to. So that CC onto that burst is really needed from PS and Lanka, and unless the Vega is shot on that, they are winning a team fight. So I feel like the next dragon will play a very important role in deciding who wins the game. Global System Solutions was able to set up the Baron now. They are getting a really good push on this mid wave. They will be able to secure the mid uh, outer turret if needed to. A really good catch on to Sejuani. I think Sejuani will instantly go down. Since I mean, I really don't think even the tanks are safe with this, Seju uh, I mean, with this Vega. And tanks have mostly opted for armor for some reason, I'm quite sure. Uh, Bo, everyone has gone for uh, Sejuani has gone for Thorn Mail and uh, the armor boots, whereas they need to get some magic resist, otherwise, there's no way that they're gonna survive against the big and Huntle is able to get the skill on and goes down to Silas. That's a big uh, power play from coming, Baron power play coming out from Game Global System Solution. They were able to get so many cards and a uh, couple of skills as well for themselves. Darius is free pushing and one inhibitor goes down to the top. Game Global System, uh, Game PS and more should go, but like I said, the Vega just fails Kaiser. It's insane. Silence goes down as well and uh, Vega back. I think Atlas will go down eventually here. Uh, but they they were able to get all three inhibitors. So very big win coming up from uh, Team Global System Solution. I think once they pick up this dragon, they should be able to close out the game by a final push. So they were not able. Uh, team PSN Lanka was not able to deal with this Vega, and it actually skyrocketed the uh, team global system solutions winning chance in this team fight so oh yes and lack of most of them get this dragon for some reason one of them is maybe that the dragon fight to get on a gang it's not the actual name they go like it if it is to number cadilla yeah and i don't think they can uh, defend either it should be a very hard job Three inhibitors down means three super minion waves, and uh, the wave clear in Team PSN Manga is not that great either.
so BSC pings coming out from Team Global System Solutions. They want to get the push onto all the three lanes and uh, finish this game off. I think it will be a very easy job for them because they have they can work with three super minion waves. And once all three super minion waves comes in, it will be a very hard job for Team Jason uh, Lanka to defend. Especially because if they get caught for the Vega cage, they're gonna die. Doesn't matter what. The first one does misses. Johnny wants to go ahead, but he was not able to get the other cat. What's the carry? Um, the the flash, and now I. Four versus five fight. Yes. Vega was able to test out everyone at the end, I think, and uh, it's down to those four team global system solution, which means the win record will be one to one, and we have one more game to decide. All champion. Foxy. Hi. Ilanga game mag the ready when I kang apay for the break ka karagan na apoy. गजयालो दिन सैमन सह माटी दिन विन सुने कोंडे पाटी को दत्ली दुखाई 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 पाऊपे सैमन माटीन लसन बिरीदा कि मुना <laughs> Red Bull gives you wings.
ගජයාලුව දෙන්නෙක් සයිමන් සහ මාටි ඒ දෙන්න වෙනස් උනේ කොණ්ඩෙ පාටි කොලෙජ් එකේ වුණත් කොල්ල කවදත් ඉහලි දුකයි 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 පව් අපේ සයිමන් මාටින් ලස්සන බිරිඳක් කෙනෙකුට කැන්දන් හරි අවුලෙන් හිටියේ පව් අනේ අපේ සයිමන් දවසක් කූල් රෙඩ් බුල් කෑන් එක බිව සයිමන් අලුත් උනේ අනේ අපේ සයිමන් ගේ සෙල්ලම් හීනෙන් වත් මෙහෙම වැඩක් නොහිතපු සයිමන් අනේ අපොයි වෙච්ච දෙයක් පව් අපේ මාටින්
Mordecai is a master E and Sejuani has been banned from uh, PSN Lang uh, I mean Global Solutions then PSN Lanka has banned Lux, Vega and Nocturne so surprisingly Darius has been picked by uh, has been picked by the PSN Lanka and I think PSN Lanka top laner is Darius main and we see a Diana mid from Team Global System Solution. Very interesting mid and a Nabic. Uh, and Nautilus also has been picked up by Team Global System Solutions. Leona has been picked up by Pils and Lanka. So I feel like this time around, the, uh, Team Global System Solutions is trying for a, or going for a Wombo combo. Basically, they want to, you know. Uh, just try and uh, get a really good one. The other Diana is insanely good at it. Na is really good at it. Nautilus is really good, in, uh, good at setting up and tons of CC. So, I feel like that's the direction that uh, Team Global System Solutions are taking. And uh, we see a Mazha band coming in. Uh, coming in from Team Global System Solutions and PSN Lanka has opted for Jin and a Trundle ban as well. So, talking about Trundle, we saw the Trundle was picked up by Ga last game and he had a very, very big impact. Throughout the game, he was able to gank multiple lanes and get most of those objectives uh -huh. because he was able to get the two, uh, two Rift Scuttlers and a couple of Dragons as well. And as the last that Global System Solution has decided to go with a uh, very common pick in Sri Lankan context, uh, Sri Lankan league context. Uh, so we'll see how the two teams will try to round up their comp. The Shivana, I think, was the last playing Shivana, lost his main. Uh, so if Shivana has been picked up by Jungle, I'm not quite sure whether he will be opting for the AP build or for the tank user build. Um, I think he might go with the tank user build. And that's what he used to play. Uh, I mean, I'm very interested to see uh, Shivana be, uh, how Shivana will do in the jungle because it's not a pick that you see every day. And uh, Global System Solutions has opted for Olaf in the jungle. Again, a very, very a uh, good pick coming out for Guy XD, one of the most notorious jungles in the Sri uh, Lanka context. And Eddie Carey, first he has on for Lucian. So, overall, a really good team comp. Uh, now, and Diana has insane amount of uh, global AOE, I mean, uh, AoE damage. They're really good at uh, doing a combo combo and setting kills for other people as well. So we will be looking at that because most of the fights will be going around. Uh, will be going around uh, the dragons. So that is one of the primary concerns for both the teams. And uh, Pearson Lanka has opted for a Galio pick. I have to say Galio mid is really really good here because the Na, Diana, Nautilus, Olaf, they all wants to jump at you, and Galio is a really good count of that because of the shield that provides and also the the taunt and the global knockup once he arrives with the alt so i feel like he's a really good pick for pearson lanka so talking about both the comms talk, talking about pearson lanka comms uh darius top ash ad carry leona support galio mid and shivana in the jungle uh definitely uh they would be try to play around ash uh i think i felt like even the last game uh, the AD carry is one of their main carries. They try to position and play around the AD carry. And we have a disconnect. I'm not quite sure why. So anyway, I think that game, once it's resumed, we will be going for the same picks and bans. I think the game lobby might have been bugged out. So...
so I just got the confirmation from the organizer that's been about in the client. Uh, these things can happen. The late client can get a little bit buggy on Champion Select. So the picks and bans will be the same except for the last pick. So again, the picks and bans will be the exactly the same except for the last pick. Uh, so it will be very interesting to see what I think the last pick was Gali. I think I think it was a really good pick, but uh, we'll see what uh, Team PS and Lanka wants to do with the last pick. So as I was saying, whoever wins this game will be taken from the championship. And uh, uh, PS and Lanka was able to win the first game and Global System Solutions was able to win the second game. Right, we see a Wukong this time around. My genius will be understood eventually. And we it is done. So we see a Wukong instead of Shivana, I think this time around that will be, I think uh, I I turn. the comp even more strong on PSN Lanka's side. Uh, we'll see how yeah, the Galio has been picked up. So the Shivana, uh, the Wukong has been picked up by Team PSL Lanka instead of Shivana. So they do really have a good Wombo combo uh, going in. They have the Wukong and uh, even Galio can match it up with that. And uh, they have the Darius who played a really, really good Ergot last game. And Ash. Uh, so talking about the Global System Solution comp, they have the Dynamid, Natop, uh, Nautilus support and Olaf going in the jungle and Lucian bot. So overall both teams have good comms and but I feel like uh, Team PSN Lanka if they are able to you know execute that uh, execute the Galio and Wukong all and Ash I think they should be able to come up ahead but Team uh, Global System Solution also had some pretty good old tricks uh, up their sleeve. The Diana and now comms combo and also Olaf is really really good uh, uh, against CC so you know he can just go after Ash and maybe kill and Lucian is also a really good ad, uh, an early game AD carry when he's paired up with Nautilus especially so insane kill pressure on the bot lane from uh, Global System Solutions so we will be waiting for the spectator delay 2 minutes and 40 seconds that is uh, once the game start, we will go with uh, the Keystone setup and also the Summoner spells. I pretty much think it will be the same Summoner uh, spell setup from both the teams that we we'll, that we saw last game. There will be two TPs and uh, and the standard stuff. And yeah, we can see when the game we are in the lo uh, loading screen. Ash pari prashna kahan deno. Kaling match ke di mandak ka goda kala wata Darius ta egalang ta split push karan ne kela. Ani thathra deno ay katula tamai goda team fight gatye. Iti ek ganu amona the kyan ne. Mang hitena ek badak kara kela honda ta. That was working because Vega was really fed and he uh, was able to win team fights by his own. Uh, but I think this time the Darius was picked up by uh, PSN Lanka. Yeah. So I'm not quite sure how well Drunk Drogon is on Darius, I think, but he plays a lot of Darius. Darius is really good at snowballing and playing side lanes and joining, but I'm more focused on Galio, Wukong, and Ash and Leona, to be honest, because those four really sing together. And if they can stop the Wombo combo that's coming from Diana now, I think they will be in a very good spot to win the team fights. Uh, 
වගේම තමයි ටීම්ස් එකේ පික්ස් ගැන කතා කරනකොට ඩැරියස් කියලා කියන්නේ ඩ්‍රංග් ඩ්‍රෝගන් ගේ මේන් චැම්පියන් කෙනෙක්. ඒ වගේම මේ පැත්තේ ඩයනා කියලා කියන්නේ එන්ජෝ ගේ මේන් පික් කෙනෙක්, චැම්පියන් කෙනෙක්. ම් ඒ පැත්තටම පොඩ්ඩක් හොඳ ඒගොල්ලන්ගේ කම්ෆර්ටබල් පික්ස් හම්බලා තියෙනවා. ඉතින් බලමු මොනවද වෙන්නේ කියලා. Yeah, so we have uh, most of the players playing with their comfortable picks in this last best of three series. Okay, so we are going into the loading screen right now. So we will have we will get get a look at the Keystone matches, the setup, and the summon spell setup from both the teams. Uh, so just like the last time, there's nothing out of man. Lucian has gone with the heal flash with the press the attack, and Olaf has opted for conqueror. Not less has opted for aftershock and uh, grass for fun for now and. Diana with the Conqueror, but this time around here has picked up the Ignite instead of that teleport. But Galio has gone for the teleport with the Outer Shock, so the kill pressure won't be that much from the Galio, to be honest. And Drunk Dragon has opted for Ghost. That's a very interesting th uh, thing to see because uh, I feel like he wants to play out this top lane. He doesn't want to, you know. Uh, he doesn't want to join any fight he's just going to be that threat in the side lane and you know get those one way twos and one way threes all right an invade coming out from Yes, in Lanka, but it's been spotted out by. Uh, it's been spotted out by Global System Solutions. Minions have spawned. So this time around Olaf is starting out in the blue side. Uh top side of the map that is blue and Wukong is starting the bottom side of the side that is blue. So both the junglers are starting off the opposite sides of the map but they're both starting on the uh the first starting with their blue buffs. Very interesting. I'm actually more focused on this mid lane matchup because uh we saw a really good uh Vega from Enzo last game and if he can keep up with the same performance and uh, you know bring that change into the team fights they will be able to uh, do a lot uh, onto these dragon fights and we see now taking a huge uh, loss in trade right there that is he's just backing with his axe and uh, with that passive is able to chunk him pretty good Oh, the pull does comes in, but I don't think there's enough damage. But if he does have ignite, he could have ignited. Flash ignite one auto attack would do. So we we'll see the same monstrous performance. But Yuna goes in, and I think this will be it. Nautilus just go down. Nautilus does flash. The first blood goes on to Leona. I think uh, PS and Lanka was. able to pick up both uh, i mean did they did use both their summon summon spell from both the ad carry and so they were able to get that uh, the crucial first blood on to uh, from Nautilus. and this time around i feel like the mid lane is being played very well uh, galio is not far that far behind and he's doing a pretty good job as well 
and it will be a very hard task for Diana to just to get on this belly of because oh Leona does goes in but I don't think it's a good idea at all. He just goes into the turret and uh, so this is gonna be two kills for Team uh, Global System Solutions. PS and Lanka bot lane taking it a bit too far away trying to tower dive at uh, level 3. I don't think it's the best idea and I don't think that's what they wanted but uh, Wukong is hovering over the top side but uh, now he's playing very passive but Dave is being pushed to Darius side which means he can zone now even more so Uh, as you can see the top lane he just wants to get out this now nah, and he just keeps making just so much damage oh i think that will be the kill for daria there's a really good flash auto attack coming up from him and uh, we see uh, another trade in mid lane but i kelly is not the champion that you can burst that easily so it's gonna be pretty hard for Diana to be honest and especially because he is really good against AP champions as well and Diana does mostly AP damage. So I don't think we will see the same monstrous performance from Enzo this time with the Diana but he will be able to get some rooms down and maybe kill with the Ignite. Alt combination maybe he might be able to pick up Ash. Uh, that is something we are yet to see. So right now the kill score is 2 to 2. Pretty much the same. And the goal lead is 7.9 to 8.1k in favor of Team Global System Solutions. So not much of a goal lead is pretty much the same. The game is and uh, game is still very stale right now, but the Olaf has already started the dragon. This is something that we often see from Olaf players. They really want dragons and uh, they'll get Diana gets countered, but no fall off from Kong. Meanwhile, the dragon has been taken forward by Game Global Substitution. That's the first dragon in the game. Secured at six minutes. So the second dragon will be a mountain. So the soul will be either an ocean or a, a cloud. I think cloud is the uh, even cloud could help team uh, global Team solution a lot in this fight because they are very reliant on their all, especially Diana, Na, uh, and even Olaf and Nautilus. Uh, I feel like the game will accelerate a lot once these champions hits level 6 and we see uh, in the top lane a huge series difference this time as well 16 to 39 and mid lane CS difference is uh, almost around 15 and in the jungle we don't there is a fun CS advantage over to Olaf and uh, bot lane 4 advantage over to Lucian. So I feel like uh, Top has the biggest deficit and Darius wants to keep extending the So Ash and Leon are both level 5. I think they are waiting until they hit that level 6 mark so they can you know, dive on to one of these champions but I still don't think diving at heart is the best thing that they could do. They and uh, Olaf is in the top side right now. The Rift Scott Lee is coming in a few seconds. Uh, in a few seconds, so I think he's mostly looking forward to that. Kong is separating his two strikes, and uh, I think Olaf wants to steal the red buff here. And if he does steal the red buff, and if he gets the scuttle, that's a very big win for. GSS, I think he's going to start the Rift Scuttle. So, 
jungle is doing a lot of work here. A big threat comes out from mid lane to mid laners and Banner beats that. And then he's in a really good position as well right now. In level 7, 68, and uh, has already got the Hex Tech Alternator. So that Darius uh, Cryo from the top lane putting Olaf in a very uh, unfortunate uh, situation. No one was not able to get that crystal by himself. That's very well uh, played from Darius. Uh, because the one thing that Team PS and Nanka can't afford to do is give these free objectives uh, to global system solution because uh, since they don't have much of a scaling, these dragons and discard will really can help them push that, uh, get that edge over the other day. So you see, Galio has far to bot. And so has Dan. So next few seconds, I think there should be a fight. I think we both have hit level six. They just waiting until waiting for their moment. But Dana is passing down again to hit. Suddenly is being picked up by the red side. That is yes, and Lanka. And now Elio is part. Scuttle is being. Have shared by Team PS and Lanka. So the Riscuttle was actually picked up by Darius. I think he could, he could just push the wave and get some place as well. Nice so, Um I think that did the Now nah, does go down So I'm not sure why he's not doing this stuff. He, ah, he does I think he should be able to take the entire top of Global system solution in position in near the dragon. They want to, they, they, they just want to get the dragon. They want to make sure that they take these and they know that Darius is going to have to pass the team. So, the team will be dragon as well. So, it will be a cloud soul. Uh, that, 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 that will be very helpful for uh, team global system solution, but definitely not the best soul that they can. Oh. So right now we see a uh, gold advantage for Team PS and Lanka for the first time in this game. They had they hold a one K gold lead over Team Global System Solutions. Again, a very still uh, game to both the teams, and uh, I feel like Darius is the one to carry this game for PS and Lanka, so he needs to break down the top side to help us cover and exit the pressure. And, uh, because I definitely feel like he can do me one uh, But now he's at spits and he's on 30 CC, yes, he hasn't even. He didn't have a half right. Right. get the first cover, so the lead is extending. Team is and Nanka. See, Olaf is being part of the 
ban a game. Get shut down out of the areas, but uh, I feel like this is not the best time to fight the death. Because if the Galio all just comes out in time, I just can't see the game. Uh, they were offering to the bomb site, I think that's the best thing that they could have done. And I feel like they're just waiting to do that again. What's the next turn? Um, as you see, all the back like I said, all the teams just want to farm is they keep the goal lead as they can. But you see, Darius has the push. Second have and he's gonna go on all of all of does have all the all the skills, but I don't know. But I think all of it now they're beautiful and but I don't think it's gonna make any difference. Oh, he is still alive and My god, that was such a big play from Dana. They were able to set up that kill for Lucian so well. Uh, Lucian does get the double kill in the end. I feel like. Uh, this is that is I'm not sure how, but Dana was there for a long time. I. She did go down quite a bit of time and that was, uh, was able to buy so much time that uh, Lucian was able to come in and get that double kill. So massive props for Diana right there for holding her ground for that long and uh, I think the kill lead is 5 to 5 and the goal lead is uh, play around me. It's unlucky, so I feel like anything can happen. Get soon, and that is we are near. Why? Uh, Galio does have all. Okay, the uh, team focus solution does back out. They don't want. They don't really want. Fight this because they know the Galio. Once they get the Galio, it's a pretty hard job for them. But once Darius joins, I really don't think they can at all. But uh, two, two teams, none of the two teams wants to fight or get some peace. And I
so big win for our team PS and La uh, team PS and Lanka. They was able to get the uh, a scuttle, the rift scuttle as well, and uh, that was not a good dive coming out from uh, team Global System Solutions out to the team PS and Lanka's bot uh, bot side, and uh, not just just die, paying the price for that dive. So team uh, PS and Lanka right now in a really really good position to win this game. The score lead, uh, I mean the goal lead has. Uh, the rocket up to 4k right now and the kill lead is well to find favor of PS and Lanka as well. Uh, Darius is in a really really good position to carry this game. He is putting, he's exerting the pressure of Sidelim where he can one on v two or two uh, one easily this time around. Uh, we see Diana and Olaf moving towards the south side uh, trying to get to the I think uh, Darius will go down here probably. He just goes down. Okay, maybe he can't 3v1, but he will definitely 2v1. So, there's a big shutdown going for Diana actually, and uh, that is not the best thing that PS and Lanka have done because Diana is not the player that you most prepared. And this all the risk model here to get the uh, outside. That's a nice arrow coming out of our match. On to the Lucian, that is gonna kill both Lucian and Nautilus. Okay, that's a really nice play from PS and Lanka. Was able to get the Lucian who was just spamming the ult, coming on the press, and uh, we got. You wanna barely misses the easier. Diana does not have the ult, anyways, even to go in and make a play. So, a lot of things are happening all around the map, and I feel like uh, overall, TP Sanaka is doing really good. And unless they mess up uh, team fights in a most horrible way imaginable, I think they are be, they're in a very safe spot. In this game. But uh, we have to see how the next couple of fights uh, couple of fights pan out. Uh, we see the dragon will be up in another 45 uh, 45 seconds. They and. Uh, both teams will be looking to contest that. Uh, and he's taking the call because he wants to go to the wants to go bot and you know fight around this dragon, pushing around this dragon. But Team Peace and Lanka have other plans. They want to get the Baron. That's actually really good idea. That's not that's uh, not the team to see, but. Solutions that easily they do know, but they're gonna get up here. All of this, from the hall, but I do die here. And uh, all of goes down just like that. And there is not that he's going to up. And uh, there is not for the hall, but it's not like she's playing. Okay, really can't want to fight this champ. Sorry. So that's gonna be barren for PS and Lanka and uh they want to get salvage mission and in dragon and dragon but PS and Lanka doesn't really uh really nice thing what it is barren then suck Okay, so how long, how, how much effective this Baron power play will be for PS and Lanka? Uh, team Global System Solution was able to pick up that dragon, uh, that soul point themselves. So one, one dragon and they will be able to pick up the soul. 
random this Lanka is hovering they want to air on the mid and get the mid turn out of this thing that they could do but Darius is heading towards bot because that Darius is right now very very he's in a really really good position and he's um, in a position where he could easily one piece but I don't really think he can one yeah, so just spam the all, but I don't think that's gonna be anything against those Baron Papa Juniors. So the Alcatraz goes down for from Team Global System Solutions. So, oh, Flash comes in from Nautilus. Are they looking for a fight? No, but both teams back down. Team Darius is still pushing onto this bot side of. Team Global System Solutions and here we go, the same, Ritz and Rippy. Pushing with them in here and uh, make a big difference. Yona does get caught on the earth and I hope oh. well, can change everything but kind of was not able to get rid of Ash and I think this might be game as well actually. That's very well played from him. Not quite sure how Dino was not able to kill Ash. Very uh, unfortunate and I think this might be the final push ladies and gentlemen. This might be the game. This is the final of the type of and to go down as well and percent championship DPS and Lanka will be the winners. Oxy? Okay, so there we have 2020 Mercantile League of Legends Championship, uh, League of Legends uh, winners PSN Lanka and runners up goes to Global System Solution. Uh, that was one half series, both the teams going at each, each other. It was uh, the first game was won by PSN, the second game was won by Global System Solution, third game again was won by PSN Lanka taking the championship. Oh, yes, me when I could. Oh, yes, maybe the other my uh, League of Legends grand final like two mini match to give a win. I think a bit of uh, Pearson Lanka, no, Pearson Lanka team get a pull on Una. The Swiss Mercantile Esports Championship tournament to get League of Legends champions love in. It may be a good path to Nama, uh, Islam team take a democratic graduation skill. I can know the first place to get a pull on Una, Pearson Lanka team back to school. Team Mega Da Eva Game uh, Second Player Second Global System Solutions GSS. Uh, Eva Game May Venko De Pavat Pena Bronze Match Checker WSO2 ESO2 Summoners Saha Motion Miracle Team Vira Atara. I think Api Palamu Third Player Second Kau De Ganne Kela Amahitan Ne Thamma Match Checker Eva Na Ha. I think Team Pearson Lanka Eva Game Global System Solutions. Deka Tama Super Pata Ne Gama. Api May Vidhya Da Api Stream Me Ke Eva Kela Na. Ash or at Godak Studi, uh, up a stream, make it some bandola, shout cast. Thank you.